O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes, to silence the enemy and the avenger. It starts at the very beginning. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. And we are called to be stewards of all the good stuff that is here within this amazing world. I do believe that care for nature is not simply about caring for nature. It is caring for people and it is care for God. It is respecting nature, respecting people and respecting God. This is the only planet that we have and God created this planet as a gift and we are participators with God in the mission of God, bringing towards the kingdom of God here on earth. Looking after creation and caring for creation is at the heart of what we try and do as Christians. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them? You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the fields, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea. Well, over this first three years, uh, we've received 30 million pounds of funding from the church commissioners and we've allocated that to a series of programmes of support at a diocesan level but also to help parishes with the focus on reducing our carbon emissions from the highest emitting properties. So we're not just talking about churches but there's our cathedrals, uh, clergy housing, all of the schools, uh, our offices, our theological training colleges. So all in all we're looking at a property portfolio of 32,000 buildings. So one of the significant projects we set up here at the cathedral was the B project. The agenda was all about greening the city. So on the south side of the cathedral roof we have hundreds and thousands of bees. We started the year with the great light switch. We had 172 light bulbs to change. We have uh, got solar panels on our church centre. Solar panels even here in the middle of Manchester can make a difference. We've added secondary glazing to uh, non-stained glass windows in the cathedral. Triple skin urns are a great way to not waste the electricity. This entire cathedral is powered by heat pumps that go way down underground and it warms up the place uh, using less gas. So it's a very green system. We're now getting fittings so that the lights turn off automatically. We've added sensors uh, around the cathedral. We've got rid of all single-use plastic in schools. We've added uh, thermal curtains. Insulating pipes. We're getting and using plugs that are timer switches. As light bulbs go, we put in the LED lighting. Also added cushions so we're heating the person, uh, not the entire building. Recognising the climate crisis that we're in, we should do whatever we can. We have insulated the building, which now means it's uh, cheaper to run, which means that it's more accessible to the local community and people are warmer. When we act and take careful stewardship, we are doing our bit to delight in nature that God has created. Yes, it's a drop in the ocean, but the ocean is made up of many drops. And whatever we can do to uh, impact and bring about change, we will do. When you start breaking things down, things are achievable. You can break it down into small bits and then tackle each part bit by bit. And over time, having set those targets, you can see that you're starting to achieve them and success breeds success as the expression goes. We are on a journey here. We've got so much more to do at St Denis. We are far from heroic, but we're trying and we are delighting in our small steps. We want to learn in this phase what works well, learn what perhaps doesn't work quite so well, and then scale up the things that are working uh, really positively. Uh, we would like to pass on a good cathedral to the coming generations and we'd like it to be sustained and sustainable. <laughs> What's my one prayer for this campaign? I would like to pray that God gives us the energy and the boldness and the ambition to make those changes and so that we step out in faith and hope as people of God and together as a community of God help to make a difference. Consume less, fear less and delight more. We're going net zero carbon by 2030.